we will start real soon guys give it two more minutes i'll be on let's go alfredo thank you for being here all right how's everyone let's go we are back doing our lives i'm pretty excited we're we're tying today the golden stonefly man how's everyone doing let me know how you're doing in the chat let's go let me fix this mic real quick it's been a long time since i've done a, a fly tying live we're in episode six listen today we're gonna knock it out of the park hold on let me lower this real quick Make sure you guys put that uh the stream in 4k it'll look a lot better i promise it's got the obs software optimized my bad about the past couple of days i've been trying to get this live up and running since friday i believe or thursday actually i finally am able to get this up and running i don't know the cam didn't want to work the software didn't want to work but we're here and i'm pretty happy about that let's go look Today, I'm going to be tying the stonefly, man. The lay harvest is around the corner. You know, I'm pretty excited about that. Got a couple guided trips coming up as well. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I hope everyone's having a good evening. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. I'm really happy about that. We got some new merch as well. Got some new hats. I forgot to grab it, actually. Where's it? I had it around here. But I'll show you guys uh, here in a couple minutes, man. Brenda Borka says, hi, bro. <laughs> how you doing, ma? That's my mom right there. Alfredo, how you doing? Angie and Paul's vlog. Hey, sweetheart. How are you? How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are having a great, great evening, you know? But, look, I'm really excited about this fall. I got a couple new things coming to the channel. The channel's been growing a lot lately, and I'm really happy about that. I just dropped a brand new video, a new film on the channel. Go watch it. I'll give you I'll give you guys a quick snippet real quick. There it is, there it is. Let me see where's it at. Look at that, look at that. We got a brand new film. Make sure you guys go watch this. It was up in Honduras, man. Let me fast forward a little bit for y'all, but I'll give you a quick little snippet. Me picking up some mangoes, scuba diving and stuff. Make sure you guys go check it out. All right, let's get back to what we came here. Or, all right where's my uh just chatting we got austin shoemaker that's my that's my dude right there what's going on man big shout out to you hector tigua saludos desde ecuador saludos amigos saludos how are you como estas all right listen today we're gonna be tying a stonefly a nymph variation where are all my nodes but before we start real quick um let me get my materials ready so i can show you guys what i'm going to be using all right, obviously we're gonna be using a size 12 uh, Hanek um, uh, hook, barbless, that's all I use. I use all barbless hooks, hold on. So I'm gonna switch it over to my other camera real quick. Bad thing about running two computers is I forget which mouse to use. There's the fly cam, oh. There's that, there's that stone fly right there. Look, it don't look bad at all. I like it. I gave it a little wind case in the back. See that? Not bad. A gold bead 4.0. But this is what we're going to be using today. I'll run you guys through the materials. Let me fix my mic real quick. All right. That's better. Oh, yeah. I definitely like this boom arm. My other boom arm decided to break. So I had to go get a new one. All right. So we're going to be using this. Is the golden uh, the golden stonefly that I like to call because I'm using some... Um, some gold polyester dubbing or yep polyester dubbing that's what i'm using today 
All right, so we're going to start off first with a quick introduction about this fly. All right, this is the hook, the size 12 hook. It's a jig hook. Um, where are my notes at? I got I write notes all the time, so excuse me. All right, here they are. How are you doing today, Austin? How's everyone doing? It's nice, Brenda says. Looks really nice, Alfred says. Thank you, I appreciate that. Look. Some of the biggest fish in the river can be caught with a big stonefly nymph. You know, you fish it really slowly along the bottom and the depths of your favorite pool or your, you know, your favorite run. But here we are. We're using a size 12 hook. Uh, this, I believe this is a 3.7 millimeter uh, bead. But I, 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 could, I, didn't, I ran out of 4.0s, so bear with me. But use a, uh, I'm using, a, I'm making a heavy. Um... Just cause, just cause I'm, I'm tying it big, you know, stoneflies are pretty big, but I'm tying it big just so you guys can see it as well. You know, use a, a 4.0 millimeter, um, uh, bead. It's the, mu it's the music, uh, yes, the Hanuk 450. I'll show you real quick. I don't have the. Yep, the, the Hanuk 450BL, the Jig Superb, uh, the competition hooks. This is a size 14. I don't have the size 12 uh, casing for it, but this is a size 12 hook, though. All right, so we're going to be using uh, the 4.0 millimeter or the 3.7, like that. Um, like I said earlier. Uh, size 12 hook. We're going to be also using Nano Silk. I, I like to use Nano Silk. Uh, I feel like it's very durable. We're going to be using it in black. We put that to the side. We're also going to be using, like I said earlier, for the thorax of the of the fly, we're going to be using the polyester, the gold dub dubbing. That right there. And as well, where are my legs? My legs. We're going to be using this, this for legs. All right. I was going to use some sexy floss. Uh, Austin said to use some of that, but I didn't have it. I didn't have that in any color in the color that he uh the bronze color that he uh he said to use I have some sexy floss but it's in red we're gonna be using this for the legs and stuff um as well as for the wing casing I'm gonna I'm gonna be using a sharpie and I'll show you guys what I'll use it for and then I'm gonna be adding some some uh fly tie resting some flex uh resting and then we'll cure it with my with my little flash UV flashlight all right, but let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, obviously, I'm going to cover the shank of the uh, the um, the hook. Not the shank. I'm just going to let me fix this mic real quick. It's in my way. Damn, maybe, maybe I did like the other the other boom arm. This arms, this uh, this microphone's in the way. All right. I think that should be better. We're going to start by covering the, the body of the hook. Let me know if it gets fuzzy in the chat. I'm trying to read the chat and trying to maneuver 100% of the best hooks out there. Yes, I love these. Hanuks are my favorite ones to use. That's the only type that I use. And soon, guys, I will have I'll have the website up and running. You guys can get some of the new merch that I got and some of these flies that I tie. My bad. I'm trying to fix this mic real quick. There you go. That should be better. All right, so we're gonna tie this all the way to the back. Cut that excess line off or thread. I mean, not line. One thing that I did forget to show you, we're gonna be using a ri for the ribbing for the body. Here it is. I almost forgot this right here. We're gonna use some micro tubing. You can use some ultra wire. But I don't. I, I just decided to use some micro tubing. I ran some. I ran out of some uh, micro wire or uh, wire, ultra wire. I mean, and I'm gonna do it in an olive color. It just. It's just very slim, very, very tiny. You all can see that. So let's get this body wrapped up and that bead secured. All 
All right. Now we're going to grab our legging or for the tail. The leg material. We're going to use that as well. Use this right here. And we're going to tie it right here at the bend. You guys see that? At the, right at the bend. Is the music too loud, chat? Real quick, is the music too loud? If it's if it is, just let me know. I'll lower it. There you go. Just secure that down, tie it, tie it down fairly well. What you're going to do is you're going to match the other side, cut it. Right there. A couple more wraps. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab this micro tubing, right? We're going to be using this to uh, keep the dubbing. I forgot to show you guys the dubbing. This is what we're going to be using. Here's ear dubbing. We're going to tie a piece of that. And just lock it in place. I'm going to cut it real quick. All right, as soon as you get that done, now we're going to grab our hair's ears dubbing. Is uh, dark hair's ear. You're going to grab a lot of pinch. You know this, we're just going to uh, build a body from this. Um, you can either use some premium dubbing wax, right? And you can use it. You can use it along the uh, your thread and it'll help it stick more. You don't have to. You can just use your spit if you want. I usually use it sometimes. You're going to pinch it in between the thread and the dubbing between your fingers and just. Just like that. I like my body's buggy. There you go. Now you're going to use the micro tubing. You're going to go the opposite way. You're going to go across the body all the way up to the top of the bead and just it's just going to keep that uh that dubbing from falling apart on you. Lock that into place, go behind it. And then go forward. That should be good. Eh? Yeah. Don't look bad. There's many ways to tie a stone fly, right? This is just my particular way of doing it. It ain't the prettiest, but it catches fish, you know. Don't fly names are favored by big fish and fast, well, oxygenated rivers and streams. Just letting y'all know a little bit. Um. They're one of the largest insects that you'll see on the water as well. They have long match tails and, and they're large, but they're completely harmless for sure. So now what you want to do is we're going to be grabbing these legs again right here. And we're going to be adding two more arms to it. Two more legs. I mean, not arms. We're going to be doing the same thing. I'm, I'm going to do it on the other end so I can show you how I lock it into place. That's one. All 
All right. And we're going to cut this short a little bit. I'm going to work it a little bit back. I appreciate everybody coming by and hanging out with me on a Saturday evening. That should be good enough right there. Now, I'm not going to cut the thing, the, um, the rubber legs yet. I'm going to bend it like this. See that? And then I'm going to lock it in on the other side, just like I did the left side. You're going to end up with a loop right there, right? But you're going to cut that here shortly. I'll show you guys. All right. Now, we're going to just cut this piece real quick. Right, right down the middle. There you go. Look at that. And then cut the other side to uh, length. And we're going to make them smaller in a, in a little in a second. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the thorax and we're going to be using some gold dubbing. You're going to do the same thing. You're just going to grab a pinch, not too much. I like right there. I'll probably grab a little bit more in a second, but let's see. This is going to be for the body. And what we're going to do is we're going to figure eight um, right in between those legs. There you go. I got to maneuver. <laughs> I, I wish you guys can see what I'm doing right now. I got to maneuver this uh, boom arm and find this fly at the same time. Huh. All right, so we're going to go in a figure eight mode. There you go. And just tying those legs in and working on that body. I'm going to add a little bit more. But as you guys can see, it's coming along. You know, it's not bad. We're going to cut those legs a little bit short, you know. Uh, we're going to add a little bit more dubbing real quick. And you can add a collar if you want. Bro, where can we find... The material so i usually get a lot of my material from um from this store up in georgia uh i can i can i'm gonna put the link it's big t fly fish is uh big t's fly shop um that's where i get a lot of my uh my materials from i'll put the link in the description below once i'm done with the live and then i'll i'll run a little history of the fly as well but um, might be a little too much dubbing. I just need a little bit more. It's a fairly easy fly to tie, you know, basic, basic, basic materials. Just build up that thorax a little bit more. There you go. Beautiful. I'm going to do a little whip finish. Right here. I'm going to grab my whip tool. This one. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm somewhat done. I can add a collar to it, but I don't think I am on this one. Um, gonna cut it right there. Actually, I'm gonna do another one, another whip finish. There you go. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my sharpie. I don't know if you remember. That sharpie that I had. So when it comes to stoneflies, you know, they undergo three stages. So we're gonna grab the sharpie real quick, and we're gonna work on the the wing case, and then I'll cut these legs that came out a little bit too long. But I'm gonna do a little wing case in the back. That's what I like to do. Color that black. You know, fairly easy. Nothing crazy. You know. We're going to grab some of my uh, flex resin right there. And we're going to add some in the, uh, underneath the underneath the fly or I mean on underneath the hook. 
right there. We're gonna create a, a wing case right there. I'm gonna dry real quick. That's just the initial drop in that I put. I'm gonna use my UV light, dry that real quick. So like I was saying, stoneflies undergo three stages with their life cycle. The stages include the larva, the adult, the mature adult, the larva stage, which it which is what we're the larva stage, which is what we're tying today, uh, which is also known as the nymph stage. And you know, as nymphs, stoneflies live completely underwater. They live in extremely cool, highly accept. Uh, looks good, man. Thank you, thank you, bro. They they live in extreme. They they need extremely cool, highly oxygenated water to survive. You know, therefore you'll find them. Um, you'll find these a lot of these nymphs in cooler environments or water that are pretty clean or, or extremely clean. You know. So with that drying up real quick, I'm gonna add one more, a little bit more resin. Oh, I'm running out. I gotta do a. Gotta do some shopping. We're gonna dry it out real quick, a little bit more. All right, now I'm gonna cut some, cut these a little shorter. And there you have it. That's my little golden stonefly. And these work fairly well on... That leg came out bad, but hey, don't judge me. <laughs> these will work for delay harvest streams very well, you know? Cut this one a little bit. Fairly easy, you know, nothing crazy. Just a regular stonefly, you know, I sniffed they have six legs and they can live underwater for like three years before they uh, transition to like adult stages and are fully grown adults, you know, but stoneflies are really good to use like a right around the beginning of June to the end of August, you know, which August just passed, but they're they're Those are their like most productive month. However, though, they, these can be fished all year round, you know, you can fish these whenever. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want to see another one? I'll tie another one off for y'all, but yeah, they're not bad. I like using them. I'm going to be using these uh, in Virginia. This uh, on the 24th, I'm going to be going to, uh, I believe it's called Little, Little River Creek up in Virginia um, with Project Healing Waters. And we're going to be... Uh, we're gonna be fishing some trophy trophy water for some big trout and i'm gonna give these a go these are some of my favorite ones to use they don't come out bad i'm gonna tie one more and then um yeah let's get it right so i didn't like how the wind casing came out on that one it didn't come out bad but i blame the boom arm in front of me this microphone <laughs> all right so, like I said, we're going to be getting a size 12 hook. I appreciate all you guys uh, coming by and hanging out with me. Austin, thank you. Brenda, thank you. Thomas, thank you. Hector, thank you. Alfredo, thank you for being here. My wife, I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Like I said, man, do not miss the, um, the new film that I just dropped on the channel. It's uh, it's it's 39 minutes, but hey, it helps the channel if you guys can watch it. I think you guys will enjoy it. I did a little bit of scuba diving out there. It was awesome. I saw some uh, a whole new world. You know, check this one out. I really like this one. I really like the black legs on this one. I I tied that one yesterday. I like how those legs came out. That's pretty cool. They're very effective. Uh, uh, flies. Um, I really do enjoy using them in uh, delay harvest streams. 
you know, trying to target those big, big fish at the bottom of, of a run, a deep pool. All right, so let's give it, a, give it another go. There it is. We're going to be using a size 12 um, um, Hanek competition hook. It's a wide gap as well. I forgot to mention. Look, I'm a little out of shape. This is only the episode, episode, episode six of this. I feel like I haven't done this before, apparently. But we'll get warmed up again. All right, so we're going to grab our, our nano silk. We're going to start wrapping. Cut that excess thread off. And work ourselves all the way to the back, all the way to the bent of the hook. Go all the way rear rearward. Right there. We're going to grab our legs. I really like the black. I just, there it is. We're going to grab our legs. Rubber legs, you know. Let me cut that end real quick. We're going to lock that into place, you know, it doesn't have to be super long. Lock it into place right there. Bring the other leg to the other side. There you go. Boom. Cut. And match the other. There you go. I mean, let me fix that zoom. That's better. Okay. Now we're going to grab that micro tubing. Let me just work this real quick. We're going to grab that micro tubing. We're going to cut a little piece of it off. I actually already have a piece of it. We're going to grab this and lock it right in between the legs. That's what I like to do. Right in between the legs. There you go. I got to fix this leg. It's kind of. There you go. Getting it was getting on my nerves. All right, now we're gonna grab the dark hair's ear, the dubbing, and you could pick these up at Big T's as well. Like I said, I'll have the I'll have the sh the link to his website here in a couple in the description of the video. Um, we're gonna use some uh, wax, some premium dubbing wax. I like this thing. It makes life easier. I don't got to lick my fingers. And then the hair does got to get in my mouth. All right. We're going to cover that. Grab a pinch right in between the thread, the dubbing right in between your fingers. And go clockwise. Just rub it clockwise. I'm going to use uh, my rotary vice ro or rotate this real quick. I'm going to use a little bit more dubbing real quick. Lock that bead into place. Beautiful. And then we're gonna go counterclockwise with uh, the micro, the micro um, tubing. I like how it rips that body. To be honest with you.
lock that into place go behind it microtubing and then go one forward <clears throat> go one forward one more and then just cut it beautiful all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab those legs again that i uh, showed you guys earlier we're gonna lock that into place on the left side first start at the right at the neck right behind the beat and just work it down lost the leg it is there you go now we're going to do the same thing Actually, that might be a little too short for me to do what I'd like to do, but we're going to cut another piece and add it to the other side. This is a small piece. I'm going to be big. Lock that into place. There you go. Work it all the way to the top of the bead. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just cut these, um, these long legs. And match them to the other ones. There you go. We're going to grab our gold dubbing, polyester dubbing. I'm gonna do the same inch of small amount. I'm probably gonna need more than that, but for the time being. And we're gonna figure eight that across the body. Across the in between the legs, I mean. Yeah, I should have added more when I had the chance. <laughs> All right, there you go. Just a pinch. We're going to build that thorax real quick and then give it a, a wing case like I showed you guys earlier. It's an easy fly, very effective fly in my opinion. Ah, messed that up. There you go. We're going to do a small whip finish. Three. And one for precautionary measurements. There it is. Cut that off. Not a bad looking fly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our resin, our flex resin, and we're going to add, make a, a wing case. Actually, before I do that, I almost forgot a color in the back. Let's make it dark, you know. Easy fly. Very effective. Now I got to squeeze this little bottle and get whatever I have left. There you go. We're going to add more to that. Grab our UV light. Let that dry real quick. I'm going to cut these um, little fibers from the dubbing real quick. We're going to add a little bit more. Just make it a little bit more prominent looking.
Oh yeah, I like that. I like how this one came out. Grab your UV light and cook it. There you guys have it, the stonefly. My little golden stonefly. It's a very effective fly in my opinion. Like I said, I usually dredge this at the bottom of a pool. Um, you can fish it all year round, you know, are you, I have a good time. I have a really good time fishing this one. I'm, I'm going to be doing uh, some filming hopefully here on the 24th in VA. And I'll be fishing these, uh, these stone flies up there. There you have it, guys. There you guys have it. Hopefully, I could get you guys some good content this uh, next week on uh on the river. That looks pretty good. No, yeah. you can leave the legs long, or you have to cut them. It looks good with long legs too. It does. It does. But I'm trying to match the insect that I'm that I'm tying. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, everybody can tie however they want them to, right? No judgment on this end. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me, man. I uh, I had a great time tying these today. Thank you for uh, hanging out and uh, joining the segment. Let me get back to this. Yeah, there you have it. There you have it. I had a good time. That was good. I got to fix my mic real quick now. Oh, man, I got to figure out a way to uh, to maneuver my mic when, when I'm tying my, my flies. For That's for sure. I hope you guys had a great time. Listen, I will see you guys hopefully next week around the same uh, same time. But on either Thursday or Friday, I'll just check out my socials. Um, I'll have uh, the link, the link to my to my Instagram, my Facebook. It's in the YouTube channel. I'll show you guys how to get there real quick, and then uh, hopefully I can tie another fly for you guys next week. It's been crazy busy for me. I've been filming a lot. Uh, I've had a lot of trips, you know, and I can't wait to share them with y'all. Here's uh, here's my YouTube channel. It's a growing channel. Please hit the like, subscribe to the channel if you guys can. This is uh, this is my latest trip on the hunt for permit and bonefish. I did some saltwater fly fishing out there in Honduras. Make sure you guys check it out. You know, this is just just a little snippet, like I said. It's in 4K, so you guys will definitely enjoy that. But you can find you can find my links up here in the about section right there. You can have you can click uh, my Instagram link, my Facebook link, and my TikTok as well. If you guys need any custom made fly boxes, you guys can um, contact me on my Instagram. Uh, I do a lot of fly time as well. So uh, if you guys need to stock up on some flies especially for the delay harvest season or just the wild streams, you guys let me know and uh, I'll definitely get with you guys. I'll give you some prices. Hopefully soon we will have our website too as well. I'm pretty excited about that. I have ha I had a nice time. Awesome. Listen, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to let you guys enjoy your guys' day, your evening. I appreciate you guys for dropping by. I will see you guys next week and peace, love, tight lines, man. God bless. Let me put some music on. There it is. Before I leave, if you guys have any questions, just please uh, ask them before I leave. You guys got like 30 seconds. <laughs> this room is getting hot, so. But if not, like I said, I'll see you guys next week. Let me see this real quick. Let's go, cow. Let's go. Listen, you guys have a good evening. I will see you guys shortly. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.